Hello, and thank you so much for watching. I hope that you're doing well. It's Sunday, February 1st, first video of February, and I thought today I'd do a quick what's in my wallet, and also my cash organizing and um, envelope slash clip system. So I was really inspired by a bunch of uh, people that I've been watching on YouTube as well. Uh, Glittering Groceries, the former Mrs. Jones, Gazelle Intense, um, OCD Much, and also Rachel Cruz's channel was really, really useful. So I um, had some useful videos on how to budget cash and how to arrange your cash so it works for your life as it flows. So I thought I'd share my sort of take on that as well. Um, so from these ladies, I was inspired to go back to a zippy wallet. I had been using um, this because I'd been doing some traveling and it's just, it was convenient for traveling. I kept my documents here and then cash and cards here. Um, but after watching these videos and wanting to go to cash for February, I decided to switch back to another wallet that I just had kind of hanging around. So this is the one that I ended up going with. It has a zip across the top, which is handy because um, it keeps everything together. Nothing can fall out. And I like for myself, I like the zip across rather just the top rather than all the way around because I feel like just the way that I am, I tend to have papers everywhere. Um, I, I found that receipts would get caught when I would go to unzipper it. So um, this is the style that I'm using and I'll turn the camera around so you can see how I've decided to set um, set up my cash and uh, also kind of what I keep in my wallet. Because I always like to see what people keep in theirs. So I thought I'd show what I keep in mine. Also, just to kind of uh, give a review, the, um, the categories that I decided to cash out are um, grocery, out to eat, personal care, transportation, and entertainment, so that's five categories um, that I withdrew in cash. And I did it only for the first, um, what I would need for the first two weeks. So I took the full amount that I budgeted for the month and then divided that in two, so I can kind of take stock after two weeks and see how it's working and then re-up. So, which would also work for the way that I get paid. I get paid bi-weekly, so. Um, hold on one second and I'll turn around the camera so you can see what's in my wallet. Okay, so here is how I set up the inside of my wallet. You can see I have different categories set up with dividers that are labeled. And I know some of you ladies got super hyper organized and laminated them, but for now, just a plain post-it and index card will have to do. And what Rachel Cruz had done was instead of using these dividers, she just put a clip around the cash that she had withdrawn for that month and uh, use that as her dividing system, which is um, nifty too, which I think I'll try both. Um, but I, what I like about the dividers is you can see at a glance the different categories, and if I were to be um, again even more on top of things, I would write down the amount that I'd withdrawn for the month, and then I could keep a running total down the index, or down the post-it of how much I'd spent. But for now, just this with just the category will do. Um, and as far as what I keep in my wallet, just your standard stuff. I have a debit card, my AAA card, ooh, AAA card, my driver's license, um, my Costco card, which, uh, let me see, just give them a shout out because they're a fantastic company with um, warehouses and stores in eight different countries. I used them when I was abroad and it was, it was like walking into a little slice of home. So they're just a really fantastic company, good to their employees, good to their uh, shareholders, really great um, organization. So, and also <laughs> really super is my library card, which ends up saving me a lot and um, being great for education because I just, I go there rather than um, buying the book new. So that's how I set up my wallet, um, kind of a peek inside uh, when I carry on a daily basis. So hope this has been helpful and thanks for watching. So that's what I keep in my wallet. Thank you so much for watching again. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Um, and if you have, thank you so much. And as always, remember to live well within your means.